Hey guys, so we're going to go over the master budget in this tutorial. It's going to be a few different parts because it is so very long. And we're going to just going to essentially uh, do each part video by video so it isn't too much all at once. And the master budget is essentially going to be one of the largest questions on the final, probably for your management accounting exam. Um, there's a lot of marks to be won and lost here. So if I were to look up what a budget is in my old book, it says something here about it being a quantitative expression of a plan of action, aiding and coordinating, and other nonsense. But essentially, um, a budget is meant to record expenses and to forecast what you think you're going to spend and make sure that you have enough money to cover it. If you've ever performed a shopping list or some basic uh, financial planning, I'm sure you have budgeted in your life somewhere. So you all understand what a budget is. Um, what I've included here is what the master budget includes. Think of the master budget as being uh, essentially this this rectangle and within this rectangle there are a bunch of separate budgets like the sales budgets and the purchases and the cost of goods sold and the operating expense and the cash budget. The master budget includes all of these. It is the master file. So what are these different types of budgets? The first one is like the sales budget. Sales budget essentially differentiates between how much credit and cash sales we have. Uh, purchases budget shows how much we are spending on our goods, how much ending inventory we have, how much beginning inventory we have. Uh, the cost of goods sold budget has to do with um, how much we are putting out for the production of our uh, goods that we're producing. The operating expense budget includes different expenses that we're budgeting like wages and commissions and rent and insurance, amortization, and so on. And finally we have the almighty cash budget. And I say that because we're probably going to have to do a cash budget on the final. Well, well not we are, you guys are. Um, I already did that. And essentially a cash budget, if you look at it in your book, it is a little bit convoluted, a little bit overcomplicated. Um, because they kind of throw it all, throw it to you all at once. But I've made a really simple cash balance kind of like skeleton right here. Uh, I cut out all the different parts, and I basically transformed it into these these few parts. So essentially, we have um, a few months. It's going to be like a continuous budget where it's like Jan or my bad, I should say December. I totally do not know that December comes before January. Wow. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be like December, January, uh, February, and so on. And what, what's going to happen is we're just going to write the initial cash balance, and then that's how we're going to start off. And literally what we do is we just say how much, how much cash is coming in, because cash receipts are how much cash are we getting. How much cash are we getting. So that's going to go in the receipts column and to figure out how much cash we're getting we just got to look at the sales budget because we're trying to figure out how much cash is being collected. Remember this is called the cash budget. So if there are any sales on credit that aren't collected in this month we do not record them here for the month of Jan or the month for December. We only record the cash uh, sales we made or the cash collections from a previous month. So in this receipts column, we might have cash sales of let's say 100 and we might have cash collections from like November or October of a certain amount like 200. So we're collecting also cash from previous months because some of those um, months of sales were put on credit and we are obviously collecting them later on. Cash disbursement is how much cash are we using. So for the cash disbursements part we're looking at things like purchases, operating expenses. Remember that these are all cash disbursements. So if we purchase goods on accounts payable in December 
and they're all payable in January, then we have zero dollars of cash disbursements going towards purchases. It's all going to be in January. We might have operating expenses that will go in the disbursements, like um, wages paid in this month. Uh, what else can we have? We might have interest expense, rent expense. Remember that amortization never is going to show up as an expense in this cash disbursements part, and that's because amortization is a non-cash item. Just always go back to it and think cash, 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 because if it's not cash, it does not belong in the cash budget. And once we have how much cash is coming in, how much is cash is coming out, we'll know how much cash we now have. And we're going to require a certain amount of cash needed. So if we need more cash, then we're going to have an additional part, which is the financing part, which essentially is we're going to have to take out a loan to finance the cash that we need, because this is the minimum amount of cash. If the amount of cash we have if we have is less than the minimum, minimum, then we are going to have to borrow or finance. And essentially it just means we're going to finance the rest. So say uh, we have we have two hundred dollars of cash and we need three hundred or we we need three hundred, so then we would finance one hundred and then our ending cash balance for December would be three hundred. And then the three hundred goes in the beginning cash balance for January and then we continue and do the whole thing over and continue it on. So you gotta make sure that the first month is correct so that it doesn't affect the results of January and February and so on. So you can see how this is a very cumulative effort in which we have to make sure that all parts are correct and you don't want to lose marks on uh, simple errors. So definitely revise this a bunch. All right. So I just wanted to perform a quick summary of essentially what the master budget is. This nowhere is near. This nowhere is near um, what we're going to be getting into. I'm going to actually be starting on cash receipts in the next part of the master budget, and then we'll go through um, disbursements and then financing, and then we'll put it all together at the end. All right. Okay, leave me any comments below if you don't get anything. Make sure to, to subscribe. I cannot talk right now. Um, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.